I'm Sean Myers of the Westmoreland Sports Network, now joined by the Class 2A tennis champion from Bell Vernon area sophomore Gabby Ducey. First off, congratulations. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. And to be honest, I'm sure heading into the tournament, not many people were expecting that you would be a contender. You were the number five seed, but you not only win it, but do so in pretty dominant fashion. What was that run like over those couple of days where you were really just blowing away the opponents? Yeah, personally, I don't think the seeds matter. So I, everyone in that tournament was a great player. And I knew going in that anyone could be able to win. So it was definitely just mostly about gaining confidence throughout each match and just thinking about the point that I'm playing and not worry about the score or how many games I was dropping and just just um, focus on winning each match. Well, as you were winning these matches, especially early on, was there a point where you realized, you know, I'm playing well enough right now that I might be able to win this whole thing? I think from the start, I knew I had a shot at winning the whole thing. And yeah, I, I just, I knew that there was, um, that I was going to be, um, if I played my best, that I could contend. Well, certainly you played your best and in the process knocked off the number one seed in the semifinals. Uh, what in particular stood out about your performance in that matchup? I think I did a really good job of, of taking the ball early and just keeping, keeping her moving and just, um, just staying consistent and um, not, and just keep um, just keeping the pressure on. And I thought that I thought we matched up well, and that we had a bunch of really a lot of really good points throughout the match. And then you carried that over into a pretty dominant performance in the championship match as well. But I know that that's one where there's a little bit more pressure, obviously, with the title on the line. You had already secured a spot in in the states, but you know, winning a championship is kind of taking it to a different level. What was your mindset and how were you able to to stay calm and composed heading into the championship? I, it helped knowing that I qualified for states because that was kind of the end goal of this tournament is I really wanted to qualify. So I definitely felt a, I, a little less pressure going into the finals. But I um, I obviously wanted to, um, to win the championship. So I was just mostly just just staying in the moment and not thinking too far ahead and not getting ahead of myself especially after the first set, I just had to take like a, a few minutes and just like think like, and just think about how I just need to win one more set and not get caught up in finishing the match. So when you won that set and secured the championship, what was that raw emotion like in that moment? It honestly felt amazing to be able to win, to be able to win what feels as a sophomore, especially having two more years left. And I, it was honestly just a kind of an unreal feeling to know that I was dumb and I was, and I was able to close it out. Well, you mentioned you're just a sophomore. Uh, your freshman year, you made the WPIL tournament, but you lost in the first round. So obviously, you've made some great strides from a year ago. What have been the biggest areas of growth, and how were you able to take these massive leaps from one year to the next? Last year, I was dealing with an injury. and um, that um, I still deal with that a little bit today. So it's more just like I learned how to manage and like be able to like control uh, how how um, and just kind of manage how I like keep myself like grounded throughout the match. And um, definitely my serve has been an area I feel like I've improved on. And I feel like I've definitely, my movement has gotten better on the court too. You're a unique story because while you attend Bell Vernon area and represent the Leopards, there's not a girls tennis team. So I know that you're not playing regularly in certain, in terms of the team competition part of the schedule, you basically just gear up for the singles in the section and then in the WPIL, which you're able to qualify for. How much does that complicate things, not being out there playing regularly like some of these other girls are with their teams? Um, it makes it difficult to a point because I'm not used to playing the section matches and I really don't know any of the girls before going into the tournament. But I worked a lot with my coach before um, sections and whip so I felt like I was prepared. Well, you mentioned you don't maybe have the scouting report or familiarity with some of the competitors you're going against. Is there anything that you do in advance in preparation or do you kind of just have to gauge as the early stages of the match are unfolding with how they play and maybe what some of their strengths and weaknesses might be? I definitely do a lot of practice matches and like match simulation and practice. So I get, I'm used to like going into matches and just having that mindset. But um, I definitely think that the, the warm up, I always try to like, hit different shots and see how my opponent will react to the shot I'm hitting. So I feel like that helps me later in the match since I don't really know how these girls play before going into the, the, any of the matches. 
a lot of sports nowadays, they're not just a commitment of a few months when the season is in. It is a year-round commitment. Uh, what's your schedule like throughout the year? How much time do you spend playing, practicing, and doing all things tennis? I play about five days a week right now. And I just always try, I try, I try to keep it um, to where I'm on the court. And I'm also working on stuff off court, like footwork and strength training. So it's, it's, it is a year-round thing for me, pretty much. When did you first get into tennis and when did you know that this is a sport that I'm really going to focus on and excel at? I, my dad probably had, um, I started with my dad and we were just, we, I started playing around 10 or 11, just like hitting the ball back and forth. And around 12 years old is, is when I pretty much started training and like having a solid schedule. And um, it just kind of clicked for me. I mean, I just, I always, I just, as soon as I started, I just knew I loved the sport. I want to certainly click this week in capturing the championship. That's one down, but you have another potentially on the horizon as you advance to the PIAA tournament that will be held up in a Hershey. And there's a little bit of a wait between now and when that gets underway in early November. So what do you do between now and then in preparation? I'm definitely going to keep working with my coach and we're going to just tighten things up. I definitely want to look at my serve a little bit more and just keep that consistent throughout the, so it'll be pretty really consistent throughout the tournament and definitely do more match simulation. Do you have any particular goals in mind for what would be a successful run in the PIAA event? I just, um, my goal is just to pretty much just, just try to make it through every match and just see how far I go. I don't really have a particular goal set. I just want to see how well I can do. Lastly, you become the first ever boys or girls tennis champion from Bell Vernon area. So you're representing the school well. What does that mean to you? And what has sort of been the reaction and the response you've gotten from the people in your community and your friends and family from this championship? I mean, it's it's been great. And and I felt I feel like I have so much support at Bell Vernon. And it meant a lot to be be one of the first to to win a tennis title. And I I don't know, maybe um, in a couple of years, we'll see a Bell Vernon tennis team. Well, uh, certainly this is maybe a big step towards that. Gabby, first off, congratulations once again. Great job, and hopefully you keep it up. Thanks so much for taking the time to do this as well. Thank you. I will. Thank you. 